Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Christopher Blackburn. Um, I'm originally from Williamsburg, Virginia. Served four years in the United States Air Force. I'm currently living in New Mexico at Holland Air Force Base. I just have a testimony about Jesus that I want to give that's very true. Um, how do I begin? Well, a couple of years ago, I was in a backslidden state. You know, I, I've always been a chain smoker, alcoholic, um, addicted to various things, lust. And I took a wrong combination of honey whiskey and lemon and medicine. And I felt myself dying. And before I died, I knew, I knew that I knew that I knew that I was going to hell. I could feel it in my soul. I could feel it in my spirit. And before I collapsed and died, a demon, a real demon appeared to me. This demon was pitch black. It radiated a hatred and unthankfulness towards me. And I knew that was going to destroy me for eternity. I collapsed on the floor. I remember seeing a lake of fire. I know, I know that the Lord consumed this demon that was going to destroy me. And I remember seeing the second coming of Christ and everyone was awestruck. They were amazed at his glory, at his power. And that let me know right there that, hey, this battle we're in, this fight that we're in is real. This, the Bible is true. Jesus Christ, he's real. To this day, Jesus Christ is my everything. Every day, I do the best I can to wake up in the morning, to thank him, to praise him, to give him glory and honor, realizing that without him, I am nothing. Everywhere I go, I approach people and tell them about the love of Jesus Christ, how real he is, how awesome he is, how much he loves them. And you'd be surprised at the responses that I get. People say, hey, hey man, I really needed that. And if you're in this world, the world's ending. The world's coming to an end very soon. I feel it in my spirit. Something's going to give. Something is going to give. You've got to pray every day. Turn off your TVs. Turn off your computers. Turn off your phones and just get on your knees and seek Christ. Ask him into your heart. Ask him into your life. Ask him for the strength to live a holy and pure life. Realize that we're in a spiritual war 24-7. Everything in this world comes at a thousand miles an hour from every direction to try to take your focus off of Jesus Christ. You've got to keep your mind focused on Jesus. You've got to keep your focus always on Jesus Christ. He is everything. He is all you need. He is all you desire. Um, I highly suggest you guys watching Bill Larkin's Testimony of Hell. He's one of my favorites. Um, Mary Kay Baxter, Bill Weiss, they all have amazing testimonies on hell, more in depth. Um, I know demons are real. I've seen them. I've seen them in the spiritual realm. I've had the Holy Spirit on me and I've seen demons in the physical world that we're in. So know that this is a real fight we're in, guys. Um, keep your mind on Christ. We have the movies, the television, the radio stations, the billboards, the books, the magazines, everything in society taking our focus off of Jesus Christ. We've got to keep our mind focused on Jesus Christ 24-7 because the end is coming very, very soon. Um, I pray for everyone watching this. I just wanted to give my short little testimony on what I experienced and how... Um, and how the Lord has given me this vision to a revelation to share with you guys. I pray that the Lord will come into your heart, come into your soul. And if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I ask you to repeat this prayer after me. Just say with all your heart, Lord Jesus Christ, I know that you are the Son of God. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for forgiving me of my sins. I ask you to come into my heart, come into my life. I make you my Lord and Savior. I make you the God in every area of my life. I thank you, Jesus, for all you've done for me. I ask you to hold my hand, walk with me. Give me the strength I need to live this life because I can't do it on my own strength. I can try with all of my might. I can try with all of my soul. But without you, Jesus Christ, I cannot overcome this flesh. I cannot overcome the demonic oppression. So I need you, Jesus. Ask him into your heart. Ask him into your life. Ask him to protect you and your family, Lord. Give, give, ask him to give you peace, to give you 
give you his glory, to give you his gratitude, to give you his thankfulness, to give you his love, and he will fill you with his Holy Spirit. We ask you, Jesus, to forgive us for all the sins that we have committed to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to burn for you, to be on fire for you. And if you're watching this video, I want to say that this is not an accident. This is not... Um, a chance occurrence this happened by only the Holy Spirit. I felt the Holy Spirit on me to release this video. I want you to know guys that demons are very real. They're, um, they exist all around us. You may not be able to see them with the natural eye, but I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will give you vision and revelation and the knowledge of them. Um, I'm a Jesus freak. He's all I talk about. He's all I think about. Every day I text my family about how much he loves them, how he died for us, how he loved us so much and he thought we were so worth it that he died for us. I highly suggest that you guys find a good Bible church. Stay in the word. It's how he talks to you. Stay on your knees. Stay in prayer and just ask the Lord to fill you with his spirit and he will. Um, thank you for watching this video. I pray that my message, my testimony will stir up a passion in your souls, in Jesus Christ's name. Thanks, out.